Hey guys, um, and we are going to clean Ignosaurus's fossil rock now. Since, you know, Donna came and, you know, she unhardened it for us. So now we're going to clean it. And there's no purpose to x-ray it, being how you can see it perfectly. And so you just kind of clean it like a normal fossil. Except it's like really hard to damage, which so don't try. Just clean it like a normal fossil. Well, as far as I know, it's really hard to damage. But you have to get 99 points on it. I think. I've always gotten 100, so it really doesn't matter for me, but... And so, yeah, I'm kind of concentrating. I don't know why. I just am. Because, you know, this, this is like... One of my... This is like probably my favorite... Yeah, this is my favorite Vivisaur. I mean, not this... Not his version in this game, but like in Fuzz Fighter Champions. He's my favorite Vivisaur. And this game, T-Rex is. But that only didn't take me very long. Well, I guess 85 seconds, I guess. About. And Igno Revival. And that thing looks epic. There's n no way around it. That thing just looks epic. And I just love staring at that scene, so I'm gonna put it on there for. See, I just love that scene. Just looks epic, I think. You'd only be able to see it when Igno ranks up, and Igno can't rank up. So, yeah. Anyway, let's. We're just gonna progress with the game, even though that scene is epic. And at, for now, look at those stats. So yeah, we got Ignosaurus. Okay. Okay guys, now I'm not gonna cut the video here at two minutes, definitely not gonna do that. Yes, I revived Ignosaurus. Did you think I wouldn't or something? And now, let's go take down Bullwart. And I will put this battle into this video. If I'm gonna, if I run it, I'm gonna show this one. It's because I want you to see Ignosaurus in battle. Crap. Never mind, I'm not gonna show this one. I know how to cut stuff out now, so I'm not going to show this one. Okay. Yeah. So that was kind of... Well, it doesn't really matter. But that was a failure. Because... Yeah, just a failure because, you know, I forgot to grab Igno. And so I'm just gonna name it Igno. Because I don't know what else to name it, and it's just a special team that Igno will be in. So we gotta put Igno in the attack. And we'll grab. Uh, how about Euraptor? Spinax. Yeah, we'll just grab those guys. Nope, nope. Let's do that. But I want Krona in here. Because, you know. Krona needs some... Experience. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, yeah. blow past all these guys fully because I mean I would show Igno's full power but it's just like Fridgy basically is basically what it is and 
and we are going to battle Bulwark. Yep. Do you really have to show? Why can't you just like be like, yeah, I'm gonna beat you. No, you ain't. You just send out his Fridgey and all his, his two others and then you just send out your team of awesomeness. That's what they should do. So yeah, we're gonna finish this quickly. Hopefully, anyway. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna leave it like that because I don't really wanna put Corona in there and like mess stuff up. Because I can basically just use Ignolent as the only guy that I ever touch in this battle. What? How? How? Sub Zero Stomp. We all know what Sub Zero Stomp looks like. My turn. Um, I'm not gonna do nothing. And Sub Zero Stomp. 54 this time. Well, guess what? We're gonna use Volcanic Combo and Pwn you. And that'll do a lot, like a lot, a lot. I always say stuff like that. It'll do a lot, and I mean a lot, lot. I always say stuff like that. I don't know why. Sub-Zero Stomp. Yep, 55. And so, I'm gonna use Burning Bite. 108, that's strong. Strong, strong, strong. Absolute zero. I could save up for info. Inferno breath. I guess I'll probably burn and bite this thing to death. And a sub zero stomp. Three. Guess what? Burn and bite. 101 Sub Zero Stomp 50 Burning Bite It's gonna kill it, hopefully. Yep, 107. And no, I know Igno's kind of almost dead, but I'm gonna take care of it. That shockwave right there. So, yep, burn and bite once more. One thirty-eight. That's real nice. And yeah. I'm trying to sound like Joe Wild West off the other game. Let's fight his champions. Shockwave. 14. That is pathetic. Pathetic, I tell you. Yeah, we're just gonna burn and bite this thing. Cause I mean, this thing can't do nothing to me. And I'm just gonna finish the guy, off, the next guy off with my strongest move. I'm just gonna own this last guy with my strongest move. And I'm not gonna power up with Roaring Fire. That's, that'd just be too much. Too much overkill. It's gonna Inferno Breath. 
Okay. I can live with that. Because we're just going to finish it off with Spinax. Thirty-eight, and yep, that is it for this battle. Twelve points, pretty darn good. Venator. I'm not. Um, I'm not gonna say anything because I'm gonna cut that one battle out, which will save us like three minutes, three or four minutes, almost four minutes. Yes, I beat you. Okay. So, yeah. Bullwart's going to jail for good. And everybody's like, Yay! Go, Charizard! I'm like, really? It was nothing. Yeah, where'd Rex go? I don't know. Snivels is right. Alrighty, guys. And we're nearing the end of this episode. And yeah, we give the tacky idols to Mr. Richmond. What? Okay. Now. I might, between this episode and next, be taking time to... Well, okay guys, comment, like, com please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, see you next time, I might be getting money and stuff, and I'll just, I don't know, level up battles next time. I think. Bye.